you show me how you talk? Yeah. Did you sleep so good? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you get your head again? Good morning, you guys. I haven't picked up the camera and seriously, so dang bomb. I've just been struggling with balancing two kids and everything else that's just going on in life. It's been just a little crazy, but I have a few things planned today that I'm hoping to get checked off my list. I'm not holding my breath that I get it all done because just these past two days alone, Bennett has just wanted nothing but to be in my arms. I've tried baby wearing, doing like so many different things and it just hasn't worked in my favor. Basically the plan for today is I'm gonna get us ready to go to the pool. It's like 77 degrees right now so it's not super super hot out yet i figured if i let hendrix play down there for like an hour or two that'll help get some energy out as well as get him out of the house i was going to go to the grocery store but i'm gonna have to do a grocery order again which it has its pros but i also really hate doing it because half the time they can't even get the stuff that i want which they can substitute but i don't like the stuff that they substitute for and it's like if i'm paying somebody to get my groceries like i want to get what i want i'm sure you guys saw on instagram that our car kind of just went out on us so we went about a week without a car and thankfully we were able to get something figured out and we were able to get um it's not fancy by any means like any means but it gets us where we need to go and it is able to get Kenny to and from work. So, so, about a 1999 Ford Explorer, I believe is what it is. Um, so it's definitely older, but it's in really good condition. We paid under a grand for it, so like it does the job, I guess. However, the only issue is that the AC doesn't work in it and I'm not about to bring my newborn baby and four year old in a car that does not have AC when it's 90 to 100 degrees outside like that's just not gonna no Jenny's gonna try to get that fixed today hopefully and then you know I'll be free to go get groceries whenever I want anyways we at least have a vehicle that I can drive now that is something I get asked about is if I ever got my car back because if you're new I don't even know I really don't want to get into the story but I basically had a car for a year and a half um, that my sister let me take over the payments and then one day she kind of just decided to up and take it from me for no reason. So I was without a car for eight months until about a week ago. The car Kenny had was a manual and there were just so many problems with that car that I just didn't feel safe driving it with two kids. Um, especially because I don't know how to drive a manual, so I didn't want to be learning in a big city with kids in the car. It just it scared me too much. So yeah, no, I never got that car back. Um, it's forever gone like I just it is what it is so we're gonna go to the pool I need to do a grocery order tomorrow's actually my birthday so I'm going to make myself a cake are you ready to go to the pool go outside for a little bit you can enjoy your new stroller we got a stroller I'll have to show you guys kind of stressing about not having a stroller this summer and like they couldn't have contacted me at a better time huh so now you can hang out on the stroller yeah, you'll have somewhere to lay down when we go to the pool. This is the stroller that was sent to me. I will leave the link down below in case you guys want to check it out a little bit more. It's a lot like the Up A Baby stroller. This one can't do nearly half of what that one can do though. Right now I just have like the regular, I think it's like the toddler seat. But I have it flipped around facing me. You can have it facing out or facing you. And then you can also recline it like I have it because that's how I'm going to put Bennett in there. And then down here it just has a ton of storage. Right now I just have our... Swim stuff, so like sunscreen, water, um, my nursing cover, and a extra blanket. I need to grab Hendrix a towel. Do you want to go do that? Do you want to go grab a towel? Yeah. Okay, go grab one out of your room. Thank you. So I'm going to put him in there, see how he does. Are you ready to go? I can see his hair. I can see his hair? Yeah. All right, we ready? Yep. I can't breathe. Uh, it's just us today, it looks like. Cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> you like how of your nose? Did you sleep so good? Yeah. 
after we went to the pool. I just did not have a good time at all. Hendrix did, he always has a good time at the pool, which is good, but I just really struggle with a lot of the people that live in our apartment complex. They're just not the nicest people, I guess, just to keep that short and sweet. So I was kind of already irritated after the pool and then I put in my grocery order. That didn't go well, which I wasn't really too surprised because I don't really ever have a good experience with Instacart. Like this woman that did my order, she, like I specifically put on there to not do substitutions. I needed things like buttermilk for my cake. Because as you know, it was my birthday the next day and she substituted that for oat milk. That's like not even remotely close to the same thing. And so that was a little frustrating. My bananas were bad. The meat that I had her get went bad the next day. Mini watermelons were on sale for like $2. And that was kind of what was in my budget. They were out of them, which was fine. But she substituted it for just a whole watermelon, which cost me like $7. I don't know. So it just like kept racking up my grocery bill. And we're kind of tight on money at the moment. So it was really frustrating. So I didn't get to make my cake that day either. Um, the kids were just being a little too needy. So I had to wait until my actual birthday. I was going to vlog that day. It didn't happen because I was trying so hard just to keep myself together. Kenny ended up having to work. So it was just another normal day. We sat and watched fireworks because my birthday lands on Pioneer Day. So there's always fireworks. So what are we doing? We're watching fireworks. Watch the fireworks? Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> He's on that 10 to 12 week nap strike and it has been the most exhausting thing for the both of us. He just wants to be held. He wants to be watching everything that Hendrix is doing. He doesn't really like to lay down. We haven't gotten out of the house in almost two weeks just because of our vehicle situation and having no AC. So Kenny's like, well, if I get off early enough tonight, like, well, I'll go get milkshakes or something and just get you guys out for a little bit. So I was really looking forward to that. So it's another reason why I got ready. I got a text saying that he's more than likely gonna have to close. So that basically just puts it at me and the kids. I just want today to be a good day. I want to leave it on a good note. So I think we're gonna open one of our lovery boxes. It's actually a company that I have heard of before they reached out to me. I saw that they had a play mat that I've been wanting so dang bad, but at the time it just wasn't in our price range, so I ended up purchasing a cheaper one. I've already heard about them previously, but then they reached out and offered to send me a couple boxes, and I'm very excited. I already opened the first box a couple weeks ago, well, probably like a week ago, and I'm so happy with their products that I'm really excited to see what's in our second box because I loved the first box so so much. Should we go open up some new toys? The number one thing I feel like I struggled with when it came to my babies needing toys, whether it be as a newborn, as you know more of an infant, I really struggled. I wanted to go the Montessori route or more towards it and I just found it really really difficult to find toys that fit that category, um, especially with Bennett being so young, he's still kind of in that newborn stage. Know that I wouldn't share this with you guys if I didn't like their products. I've tried other subscription boxes that I've never followed through with just because I didn't end up liking them. I didn't feel like they were worth the money. So this is the box that is for three to four months. Our first box was, I believe, zero to 12 weeks. I don't even know what's in this box. I haven't really looked, to be honest. I'm not entirely sure what this is or what it does. Oh, it's a mirror on one side. And then it looks like this side, do they just look at it? So it looks like it just has a bunch of different toys and I'm so excited because I love the wooden toys. I feel like they last so much longer. I like the texture better than plastic. This actually came in the first box and it's been one of our favorites. It's just a little black and white book that you can kind of flip through. This has been another favorite that has helped tremendously with tummy time. We're just keeping him entertained in general. It came with a bunch of these black and white cards that you can switch out. I also think he's gonna get great use out of the mirror over there. I think he can even kind of see himself right now. 
Are you gonna touch him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at those big eyes. That one must be okay. Can you show them how it shakes? Shake, shake, shake. It's just strong. Yeah, you got it, Bennett. I was worried it would be too heavy. Where are you going to go? <laughs> he has actually rolled over a couple of times from back to belly. How about he get the... I don't know if I'll be able to get him to do it today, though. Are you going to have him try that one, too? Yeah. What do you think? Oh. Oh, he's got an easier time holding with this one. Oh. Uh. Try to put it in that one. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> I was going to see if he would smile. Sometimes he'll smile at himself. Maybe not. Yeah, that's a lot of work, huh, Bubs? I know you're doing so good. Do you need a break? Do you like that one? I feel like right now he can really see the reds and the oranges. And so anything that has those really bright colors, I think that's why he really likes this one. It's just because it's so bright. If this isn't motherhood, I don't know what is. <laughs> I have Hendrix going to get me a rag. Thanks. Are you sucking on my arm? I don't know how good it tastes. I promise it tastes very good. <laughs> He's sucking on my arm. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to make my bed today. It was either make my bed, do dishes, do some cleaning, or I take the day to get ready. Yeah, and sometimes you just gotta get ready. Do something for yourself. Dad's home. Bennett. Hi, Bobs. Hi. I missed you all day. Yeah. Do I need to leave the room for you to talk to Dad? Oh, is this stuff you don't, you don't want Mom to know? I saw those yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I go to bed. I have to show you guys the cutest thing though. Bennett fell asleep with his thumb in his mouth. I don't know, I feel like this was like an all over the place vlog. I am hopefully gonna have like a more decent vlog out. I wanna do like a life update, postpartum update, a little bit of everything. So hopefully I can get that out soon. I miss doing YouTube so dang much. But I'm gonna go wash my face into bed do it all over again tomorrow